What is your most useful NSFW life hack? Use both hands for masturbation. Gently rotate hands for an added bonus. Fingering. One hand with fingers in, one hand working her clit. Making out. Get your hands involved. Both of them. Stop grabbing her ass the whole time. Show her her whole body means something to you. Missionary. Put both hands under her back and hold her shoulders. Thank me later. Cowgirl. Put one hand on her hip and the other on the small of her back. Work that rhythm. Doggy style. One hand on her hip. And the other all over. The occasional smack is appropriate. Add your own NSFW two-handed method. Edit. I just realized that if I move making out before fingering. This is a pretty good date night. When doing her doggy style doubt put a finger just under where her clit is and push in slightly. You should start to feel yourself thrusting from the inside. If you roll your tongue up and press it against a woman's cornhole. You can funnel her farts directly into your mouth. You're masturbating. Come on your cat. The cat will clean itself with instinctual licking. No more crusty socks. If you get a hair in your mouth when going down on a girl, just stick your tongue out and lick her inner thigh. It's drier and non-hairy so the hair will stay and she will just think you're mixing it up a bit. It can kill the mood when you have to stop to fish the hair out with your hands. Before fingering, check your nails by scraping them against the inside of your cheek. If you can feel the nail scratching, it's not good enough. Lay a couple sheets of toilet paper in the bowl before taking a dump. It muffles the sound and reduces the risk of water splashing back at your ass. Edit. R.I.P. my inbox. Buy condoms on Amazon. I got 60 for 12 bucks when they cost 5 for 3 at the gas station. To achieve female orgasm. It is necessary that you first eliminate anxiety, fear, doubt, cold toes, etc. from the female subject. I call it the stink test. When making out with your lady of choice and you're considering going down on her, but not certain if she's rocking a flower or some old tuna, that's when you need the test. Give her a quick diddly do when things are getting hot, and then, when she's not looking brush your fingers under your nose and take a whiff. You can pass it off as scratching your nose if you get caught, but she probably won't call you on it. This lets you determine if you really want to get your tongue up in that or not. A warning though, I'm reasonably sure girls know when you're conducting the stink test. Edit yes. Jolly Rancher. Got it. When you go down on a girl, she presses against you. It means do it harder. If she pulls away, it means do it more gently. If your forklift doesn't go high enough, use it to lift another forklift. Get a boner before shaving your junk. It will tighten up the loose skin making it easier to shave and minimize the risk of cutting yourself. Years ago when driving home after work at 4am, I was so tired to the point of almost falling asleep at the wheel. Instead of pulling over to nap, I whipped it out and started stroking it. Kept me wide away for the 62 miles home. Ask your girl to masturbate for you. She'll love the intimate attention and you get to learn exactly what she likes. Remember. All girls are different. Figure out what they like and then give it to them like that. Forget how past girls wanted it. Explore and learn about the girl in front of you. Convert one of those stupid no hand sanitizer dispensers into a no hands lube dispenser. Duck her right in the pussy. Ladies use baby oil instead of shaving cream when shaving your lady parts. You won't be able to keep your hand out of your pants all night though. Fair warning. Gentlemen if the position allows for it, look your lady in the eyes for that initial thrust it's near guaranteed to get her going a bit more right from the start. It feels like you're in tune or summit, I dunno, and that'll pay off for both of you the rest of the time. If you want to use whipped cream in the bedroom, stick to the light crap not to save on calories. It just leaves a much less sticky residue when licked off. If your partner is really responding to something you're doing, you're going to want to start to do it more or faster or harder or whatever. But don't. Just keep doing it the same as you were. That's what was getting them off. Find the clit. And use it. I've yet to find a woman that doesn't love the following move. When in the spooning position during 6. Use your free hands to massage the clit and nipples. You can get a motion going where you're pumping in and out with your D. 
while rubbing on and off of the clit with one free hand and working the nipples with the other. I've found that most girls come violently when this move is applied correctly. As an added bonus, you can kiss the back of their neck while doing all of the above. It is a bit difficult to coordinate until you get the hang of it, but your lady will appreciate it. Never, ever ever get cum in your eyes. Doesn't hurt at first but then it's the slow burn of what I like to think a million of sperm trying to tunnel in and fertilize your eyeball. If my mental image is off, please don't correct me, it tickles me. Man or woman, keep some condoms in your room. It's such a mood killer if you're about to go to pound town only to realize no one is condoms. I've gotten dressed, driven to a gas station to buy some, come back, and by then, the mood is ducked. And you're basically starting from scratch. Every girl is different. Explore with your fingers to find where the most sensitive areas are then try exploit that during sex with various angles and positions. Use pillows if needs be to get where you need to go. Never stick to the one speed. Have lubrication on hand. Foreplay for about 20 minutes. Try not be a prude when communicating what you both like. Always shower after. Have a little travel mouthwash on the bedside table. Find a chance to pee before you start. There's never any need to finish first if you're a guy. Slow down a bit and start a little foreplay to keep you both in the mood. Encourage her to play with herself while you're having sex. No one knows how to make themselves feel good better than themselves. The picture is more NSFW than the life hack itself. But for all you men who complain about pee drips after urinating. Before you take a dump, spray an air freshener directly into the bowl and smell the delicious fresh scent clouds wafting up while you drop bombs. Quit your job if you're unhappy there. Men. Drink lots of pineapple juice. A bit late, but for my fellow guys who have a bit of trouble lasting, alternate the Fibonacci sequence, look it up if you don't know how. I can't link on mobile and counting down from 100 by 7s in your head, while holding your breath as long as you can. Egg. 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 9, 3, 2, 8, 6, 3, 7, 9, 5, 72, 8, 65. On the flip side, counting down from 100, by 1s, while breathing deeply with your partner doing all the work will make you come before you hit 0. Source, mathematician who comes too fast from Zix and too slow from BJS. Saw this quote on the front page once, masturbation is a lot easier to clean up than an affair. If you're sitting on the toilet and you want to use the same piece of toilet paper to wipe your ass and your nose, wipe your nose first. If you are a fat dude, drop some weight to get an effectively longer D. I've learned more about six from this thread than my entire academic career. Damn IT American schools. Some of this info is quite useful. If you're going down on someone, either gender, don't brush your teeth first. You create lots of little cuts on your gums, which makes it easier to pass stees in both directions. Use mouthwash instead. Suck at making balloon animals. Inflate a ribbed condom and tie it off. Press toe. Instant millipede. As a guy, if you're getting ready to blow your load and can hardly hold it, stop moving your D in and out and instead reach around and play with her clit. Bring her right on the edge of orgasm and then start thrusting again and you'll both come at the same time. I do this with my girlfriend and in 5 years it's never failed once. When a girl says yes, yes keep doing exactly what you are doing otherwise you'll just duck it up. If a guy says that, do it harder and faster. When I have a headache I masturbate. Make a red hammock when using a porto potty. Use 3-4 lines of TP just long enough for the middle to droop down. Arving the distance from the seat to the water. Sit on that. And when your it comes out it will hit the TP. Then drop. The distance will be cut in half. Thus eliminating any splash back upon your asshole. Keep a designated 6 towel in your room. When using a condom. You can use the 6 towel to take off the condom. This way your hands don't get covered in splodge. Then wipe off latex luby residue. When not using a condom, let the guy wipe off first. Then ladies, have a seat and let it absorb. Guys, if you come on her, letting her use the 6 towel first is the chivalrous option. Anyway, 
Having a designer TED 6 towel prevents Kleenex bits and all your towels smelling like splodginges. Source, a lady friend. If you are ever in a pinch, a Snickers candy bar wrapper can be used as a condom. Pooping at work isn't always safe, but there is something nice about getting paid to poop. If you have a gravely voice, anything you say when your head is touching her V will cause pleasure. This thread is like Cosmo for Redditors. Get her in the mood, straddle her ass, then give a back massage, and relaxed, start kissing her neck back, then slowly finger her, now you're in perfect position for the prone bone. Hide condoms everywhere, under the couch, on the windowsill behind the blinds, under the bed, in the bathroom, if you can reach out and grab a condom, you won't break the flow, and you're less likely to do something stupid, go in raw. I actually had a girl call me the condom squirrel once haha. -ha. Also, giving a woman a foot massage and lots of cuddling before Essex helps her relax, so she is more likely to orgasm. Have a few music playlists ready to pick from. I keep a little thing of baby wipes near my bed where I keep my lube and stuff. Makes for a great and easy cleanup. Moan or hum while giving a blow job. Guys like to know you're enjoying yourself. If you're not, touch yourself too and the vibrations can feel good. When you give a blow job, use your hand in combination with your mouth and synchronize your strokes so that your hand is basically working as an extension of your mouth. Helps those who easily gag and gives you an extra 4 or 5 inches of mouth. When hitting, prop your legs up against the wall in front of you and push. It'll give extra force to force the it out. Google Chrome has incognito browsing. Never worry about deleting your browser history again, d. For the men who are, um, thicker than average, or for the women who are tight, have your girl lay face down, and straddle her just below the butt, massage their neck, back, and shoulders as you work it in. I've had a lot of problems with women being in pain from the girth of my d. For whatever reason, relaxation maybe, this works like a ducking dream. Expert level, massage with one hand. Use the other to rub her clit or finger her. Gets her wet and loosens up the muscles in the V. Making entry much less of a problem for both of you. Create a file on your computer called porn that automatically shuts it off. During missionary, place a pillow under the female's butt. The male will penetrate deeper and rub against the G spot with each thrust. Also, a footboard makes for deeper penetration great calf exercise. If you need to fart, but it's just not moving out. Get on your knees. Put your head on the floor with your arms stretched out above your head and your butt in the air. Hang out there a little bit. Rock back and forth a bit if you need to. Works like a charm. Toot away. If you bet caught, you're just doing a little yoga.